One of you two family, welcome to From Indicted to Invited. Don't hear, hit that like button, cash up upper left hand corner. Man, you know what, man? Today's title, man, we're gonna do, we're gonna call this Convict, Convict Brotherhood, bro. Convict Brotherhood. You know, I did a video back in the day called Systematic Brotherhood. And it shows you from start to finish from the time you arrested to the time you leave exit prison. It's different fraternities and sororities. We don't want to leave the ladies out. It's different or it's different it's different brotherhoods formed when you locked up. When you first get arrested, you got the FBI, the DEA, customs, you got all kind of uh organizations that's against you. When you come into the system, you got the attorneys, the judges, and all them people, they are they are brotherhood. They are against you. Even your defense attorney is against you. Even when you feel like you you know you gave him all this money to get a good deal, right? He's still playing you no matter what. Once you get in the system, you got the courts. You got the courts. And like I said, you got 18 months to do your direct appeal. There's a zero point like eight percent, less than one percent chance that you're gonna win on direct appeal. And the reason that is because you only get 18 months. To, you got 18 months to file it. So the higher court is not going to make the lower court look that bad by saying that they messed up here and 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 and, and, and really just take their sentence and throw it out the window. The little 30 years they gave you, the 25 years they gave you, they not about to throw that out the window. So it's a thing going on right now in the in the, in, the, in the appellate courts. Well, they don't even answer some of the stuff where you got grounds for a dismissal. They won't even answer it. They won't even answer it. You end up getting out of, on that same issue years later after they get some time out of you. It's a cold game, right? It's a cold game. Now you're in the system. You got the COs. You got the warden. They a brotherhood. They all a brotherhood. They're going to protect each other to the end. But the main thing I want to talk about is the fact that the brothers that you uh, that you come across. If you out here now, you should have survivor's remorse about the people that's left in there. Because there's some good men. And the brotherhood that, 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 you, that you establish with, the, with, the, with guys you done time with, it's a fraternity that lasts forever. And I want to thank everybody, man, that reached out for you and me and during my time and everything, that everything that I've been going through, I want to thank everybody that reached out to me, man, especially my guys that, man, when it's just something about when the guys that you've been locked up with or guys that know how to, that, that done the time, that understand, you know, the, the, the re-entry and the recidivism and, and what we go through out here. And especially when you lose a loved one, man, it's like, man, I, I can recall, I knew a guy out of Philly, man, that's, that lost his mother. Lost his brother, right? And he started wilding out. He just started wilding out. He was jacking his time off. And I and I, it's, I don't even know why I did it because we didn't really hang like that. But we ended up talking. And I, and I, I feel like I saved a soul after I talked with him. Because he was ready just to throw everything away and just start wilding out because his people were gone. See, sometimes when you lose that one the people that you can, that one person that you can depend on, especially to make your time easier, they can send you money, they can do this and do that for you, then you lose them. Man, a lot of guys end up just folding. When you're in prison, man, you at the bottom of it's, you. I was one step from death, bro. I mean, come on. Life in is, is the only thing after that is death, uh, on being on death row. So you come on, bro. I'm, I was at my lowest point ever. You at your lowest point, and you down there with uh, with men is at their lowest point. So it's a it's a camaraderie and a brotherhood that comes along with that that that, that, that can't be understood not unless you did time. 
Not unless your freedom was taken, and you was and you was in the in the trenches. You know what I mean, and you understand stuff like it's a it's a it's a camaraderie that comes along with. Man, it's a lot of guys that helped me when I first got in the system. It's a lot of guys that helped me. Uh, shout out to my man Butch out of Philly. Uh, my man B, what up B down in Atlanta? It's a lot of people that helped me. Uh, that helped me. You know, being a newbie into the federal system, there's a lot of people that pulled me to the side and, and taught me some things. You know what I mean? What you should do and shouldn't do and all of that. It's a, just a camaraderie, bro. And it, it, I'm so grateful, man, for the people the people that reached out. And even some of my best friends and shit, we all did time. So it's like, it's like that understanding right there, it just helps the friendship. It just helps the friendship, and I want to thank man everybody who's who supported me, man, through the, everything I've been going through. I made some wrong decisions in the past couple of years that affected my livelihood and the, and the way I was living, but I'm on the bounce back, and uh, I appreciate everybody, man. That I mean, even people who don't know me, just they're watching my channel, that they donate to my channel and and comment on my channel, man. I, I appreciate y'all too, man. But it's a it's a kind. It's a brotherhood that's formed with, with just the people who, who did time, bro. It's just, it's a different understanding. I hold different conversations with people who did time and people who didn't do time. I hold, I hold a different conversation because you never really, you never really is, you, if, you never really over it. They say it takes five to ten years to really get yourself back together after prison, especially if you did over ten years. You know what I mean? Like, me being locked up during, I had a two-way pager, and MySpace was a social media outlet when I got arrested. So we talking 2002. It was MySpace. It wasn't no Facebook. It wasn't no Instagram. It wasn't no, it wasn't no self. It was no, uh, it, it was phones, but it wasn't, they wasn't computers like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's the whole, it wasn't no YouTube. Like, all of this stuff that's going on and and in society, right? It's challenging, but when I can got a brotherhood of family of dudes that that's been locked up and, and and that I can talk to, it's it's just a lot easier. It's just a lot easier for for me. And it's like man, I'm 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 so grateful for uh to be able to be in the trenches and still be cool with some of these people, bro. You know what I mean? I watch other people's channels that I don't even know that you know they got the prison channels. I watch, I got I subscribe at least ten or fifteen other guys. You know what I mean? And I just watch and I and I'm and I got appreciation for it. I support their channels and all of that. So I don't care nothing about how big their channel is and none of that. I still watch. You know what I mean? It don't it don't matter to me like the growth of my channel. Like I'm happy with with the people that that, that support me. It's like I'm not looking I ain't in this for that. I ain't in this for that, for real, for real. But my main things for this, I want to get out and be like a, I want to speak more and help these kids. And and if I can get that from this channel, that that's cool with me. I don't need 100,000, 200,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm ready to hit the road. I'm ready to hit the work, hit the road for mine and help mine and, and do my work in, in that way. This right here is just, man, I'm just wrecking them for real. This ain't nothing but wreck for me. You know what I mean? But, man, I want to I appreciate I appreciate everybody, man, especially my brotherhood, my fraternity of convicts. Bro, I got a lot of respect for y'all, bro. And I had never really done a lot of time before I caught this case. You know what I'm saying? I had a state joint back in the day in the early 90s where I did, I did a year, ended up doing eight months on a year or so it's like I basically got in and got by the time I got there I was doing six months before I was coming home so I don't really know I never really did no time and, and going and going into them penitentiaries and, and to them federal penitentiaries going to bloody Beaumont right off the gate man I appreciate the brotherhood you know and uh, the, the fraternity of men that helped me through it you know what I mean? And, and told me the ropes and taught me this and that and showed me everything. So, man, that, that shit don't never, 
that's appreciation, and I'm so grateful for that, man. It's like, man, I can, it's, it's years later, man. It's 20 years later, and I want to thank everybody who was there. You know what I mean? What up, B? I want to thank everybody who 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 nurtured me from a, turned me to a from an inmate to a convict. You know, it's a difference between an inmate and a convict. An inmate, you just doing time. You know what I mean? I mean, you letting the time do you. You ain't a convict. You know how to do the time. And I just feel like uh, without that. You know what I mean? Everybody ain't no vulture. Ain't nobody ain't no, everybody ain't a Viking. Everybody ain't out to take advantage. It's good men in there. Like I said, if you out here and, and you don't have survivor's remorse, man, you selfish. Because you know some good men in there that can't get out. You selfish. If you don't got survivor's remorse right now. Man, it should be a, a sad place in your heart about the guys that's, that can't get out of there. You know what I mean? So that's what this video is about today. It's about the convict brotherhood. And I want to thank everybody, bro, who support me and, and and help me through what I've been going through. And just, you know, when you know when you fall down, you have to get back up. And, man, without you guys, man, especially my convict, that convict corner, man, that convict corner, man, been so fun. I'm so grateful for you guys, bro. You know what I'm saying? Those... And you know, you know who you is—the people that call me and, and that talk to me and and and, and that talk me down off a ledge. Like I really appreciate that. You know what I mean? To all my convicts, man, look, keep your head up. Hey, keep your head up. You 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 was you you was at your lowest and you made it out. This this shit out here ain't nothing. This shit out here ain't nothing. This don't compare to nothing. This is from indicted to invited.